Some time ago, I posted a picture of uh, how we feed alfalfa to our goats. As anybody that feeds alfalfa or any other sort of expensive feed to goats knows, a lot of it can end up on the floor. We used to end up with about 50 to 60 percent of it on the floor here. I wanted to show you some of the existing feeders that are here on the farm that I manage for my employer. Uh, this is my favorite right here. You'll notice it's got a concrete base and then it has two welded rebar sections which they've put on here. And we walk down where you can see that a little clearer. You can kind of see where the sections join together here. And you can see their design. I definitely like this two rebar design. It makes stepping up higher to the feeder a lot better. Now this is the way the feeder was when we got here with the wood slats, which is great, but it allows the goats to pull out way too much feed, which ends up on the ground, which ends up soiled, wasted, less money in your pocket. So what we experimented with are these, uh, I call them welded wire panels. They're, I think, two by four inch, pretty thick. You can see this isn't wire, but uh, rod welded together and we've taken and put those in here behind the slats and you can use zip ties, bailing twine or just leave it loose like this one is. Um, one thing that we noticed is that when you run this area of the panel, run it vertically because if you do it horizontally the goats have a real hard time getting in there to feed. As you can see this little girl right here is having quite the snack and no problem getting to it. Now, the key to this whole thing is this concrete trough which they built underneath here, which catches most of your, uh, the little bit that they do spill, it catches it right there. And we clean that out with a leaf blower every day because, well, as you can see down there, uh, goat berries and other miscellaneous items end up in there. So we want to keep them healthy, so we clean that out. Now here's another type that they did with the wood trough on the bottom. That's fine, but I, I actually prefer the concrete. And I don't know, I, I like it because the concrete, as you can see, is flat and comes out further, whereas the wood does not. Uh, although this wood design is fine for feeding grain. And I'll show you one other variation they did on this design down here. Which we actually do not use very often. Um, single rebar does have a bigger flat trough on it, so it might work. Um, part of the problem with this one, the animals, uh, I don't know, for some reason this one ends up getting messy. And we just don't have enough animals right now that we really need that capacity, so we don't use it. Long story short, that little piece of panel might cost you a couple bucks, but it's going to save you a lot in feed. Uh, a little further down the line, we would love to get this system to where the little bit of grain that we feed them comes down from perhaps the back side and automatically spills in there. If you've ever fed goats, trying to carry a bucket through crowd of them is uh, interesting to say the least. I hope this has been helpful. I hope it saves you some money and uh, provides you some healthy animals. Until later, bye. If you found our video helpful, I would just ask one favor of you and that's to visit moborgoats.com. That is the Ganserite Boar Goats website. That's moborgoats.com. And from there, you can like our Facebook page. And we'd really appreciate it if you would sign up for our mailing list while you're there. Thank you.